Alright, hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I do my full coverage foundation routine. I already have my eye makeup and eyebrows done, which I usually do before because that's just the way I find it works best for me. But um, yeah, foundation is like my favorite part of makeup, so I thought it would be really cool to come on here and show you how I do mine. One of my favorite foundations is actually the Makeup Forever uh, Stick. I've used it for a while now. Um, I do play around with other ones, but this one I keep going back to. So I thought I would show you how I use this one. I do have dry skin. Um, I would say you can use this for normal skin, uh, combination skin and dry skin, but not so much for oily unless you want to make sure you put a really good setting powder on to make it not get oily throughout the day. But I actually have problems with dryness, so that's my skin type if you're wondering. Um, so yeah, this might look a little dark on me because I do fake tan sometimes, so I'm kind of in the middle of it coming off. So if it looks a little dark, I'm just going to fix it up with a lighter concealer and maybe try to blend it down on my neck more. So I'm going to go ahead and go in. So as I said, it's going to look a lot darker than my skin, so especially since I don't put the tan on my face. It is going to look a little crazy at first, but I promise you it's gonna work out. Everything's gonna be okay. And then I like to go in with this Real Techniques brush I've had probably since high school. I'm just gonna go in like this. And the trick to make this look normal is definitely to blend it down on the neck. So yeah, this has been my favorite foundation recently. I tried the Huda Beauty one too and I really liked the coverage on that. Um, but for some reason, my skin was just too dry even when I put like oil and moisturizer on my face like I just couldn't stick with that one because I felt so dry and like like the moisture just got sucked out of my skin so I went back to this one and um, I actually tried to pick a little bit like not crazy darker color but a lot of the times when I do put my tan on um, my face can look really weird in pictures like my face will be really white and then the rest of my body will be tan so that's not always the best look we're going for definitely be careful with the eyebrows i use um definitely more of like a pat motion i don't really swirl it around because i feel like that just gets rid of the product um so yeah i'm more of just like tap it in and move it around a little to make it look normal Definitely make sure you get up um, close to your hairline so you don't have like a weird demarcation line. All right. And then if you end up getting a little bit of your eyebrows, you can just go back and fix that later, definitely. So as you can see, this has a pretty glowy finish. You can tell a little bit, I do need to tan again. You can tell a little bit, it's a tiny bit darker than my skin, but it's not weird. It's not like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? I just think it looks pretty nice. This is always my favorite part. Like, I feel like I just turn into a different person and I love foundation. I love the way it makes your skin look. If any of you guys have like dry skin and like full coverage, let me know your favorite foundations because um, I haven't found one better than this. I really do like the Marc Jacob one actually as well. I think it's the Marc Jacobs um, Unremarkable Foundation. I love that too. It is a little bit more pricey and um, very full coverage, but I like that. So now, going with Tarte Shape Tape, surprise. Um, I really want to try the Jouer concealer though, because I've heard a lot of uh, beauty YouTubers talking about that and that they like it better than this, and they say it's better for drier skin. So I really think I'm gonna go order that because this one's close to being out. But yeah, I just put it under my eyes. And this will help make um, the foundation look better because of the darkness. So this will really bring more brightness and make it look more like it matches the rest of my body. So I'm just putting it on the parts of my face that I want to bring forward and highlight. We're done. Thanks for watching. Buff that out with my beauty blender. You know, it's funny. I've actually wanted to make videos like this for a really long time. I tried in high school too. I just really didn't like the quality and the way they turned out. But yeah, so trying this out, seeing if I can hopefully stick with it. 
I actually right now at the moment have not uploaded a video yet because I want to make sure I have a couple ready that I'm really proud of um, before I upload one because I don't just want to upload one and then like have it sitting there forever. I'd rather like have three out or something. So yes, I'm trying to figure out this whole thing. But I'm glad I'm finally sitting down and doing this. I have been using this Revolution baking powder. It's in the shade Banana. Um, it works pretty well. I've used it for a while. Sometimes it leaves like a weird powder mark on my face. So I'm kind of trying to experiment with new stuff. But um, yeah, I'll just put it into a little the little lid like this and swirl it around to make sure it's all even. And then I'll just go like this in here a little bit. Tap it off if any will fall off. And then I'm just going to bake it. So it might look a little funny, but this is how I do it. I like to make this weird face. <laughs> because it pulls this area tighter. So you don't want to be like crinkling your eyes because you're doing this to set your powder. So you don't get crinkles and it stays in place. So I kind of like raise my eyebrow and make sure that that area of my skin is pulled tight. Because this is gonna help brighten and set your concealer and make everything look amazing <laughs> but yeah and then I like to bring it on my nose to set that so if you can tell what I was talking about has like I don't know how to stop doing that maybe she says it's a cheaper setting powder but I really like the banana color that it puts off and I'm gonna have to try more to see if I can get one that's a little bit more um it gets more even on your face when you put it on but yeah and We'll probably let this sit here for a little bit, maybe have a little dance break. Okay, time to dust this off. <laughs> yeah, so I really don't know how monetization or um, like playing other people's music works on here. I know you're not supposed to, but I see people like do a little like 20 seconds in their videos. So maybe I can do that too, hopefully, or maybe Maybe not, we'll see. We'll see if I get a little angry notification from YouTube. Probably just ignore it. <laughs> okay, cool. So see that blends it out all pretty nice. So I just have trouble with it on my nose, but here we go, looking good. I always like to like push my eyelashes up so they're more like up straight instead of like this. I don't know. They're crazy, I know. Trying to fly away. Not working. Now people always think I'm weird for doing my eye makeup before foundation. But it just makes sense to me because I feel like if I mess up on my eye makeup, I can fix it so much easier than if like my foundation's already done. So we are going to take this old bronzer. This Too Faced bronzer is old packaging. I got this a long time ago too. But you know what? I'm really proud of myself because look how much I've used that. I love this guy. So I'm going to have to pick a new one up. Their new packaging looks really nice. So I'm excited for that. I tried the um, Hoola bronzer by Benefit. And it was okay. But I guess it was just more of a bronzer. Because it was too orange for me. Like I like to contour in my nose and my cheeks and stuff. And I just felt like that one did not do what I wanted it to. So go in here. I know people say, so the thing is you're supposed to like make the kissy face and put it right here. But I really like to make sure to go above that line. Like I start at the line and then go above it because I don't know, I don't want like a weird line too low on my cheek and I feel like this makes my cheekbones look higher because you can even see like the more uh, definition here. So we've got that. I guess I just like my bronzer to be, or my contour, whatever you call this, I kind of just call them the same thing, to be um, a little bit more brown-gray toned than orangey. So, if that means anything to you, you go up on the forehead. So basically we're just doing the traditional three, like that. And then if the bronzer up here gets weird, I'll just go back with my foundation brush like this to make it seem more blended not with more foundation on this though just the old stuff because there's already probably a lot of product on here <laughs> and then 
still going in with the bronzer. Sometimes I like to like contour my chin out here to make it look pointier, I guess. Don't want those double chins, right? Am I right, ladies? Looks like a monkey. <laughs> We are going to contour the nose, which sometimes this works out for me, sometimes it does not. We will see what happens today. Hopefully it works out, because that would suck if it didn't. But I just use this little e.l.f. brush, really fluffy. If you want to contour your nose, if you get fluffy brushes, obviously it's going to make it a more blendable line. So sometimes I'll go in with a more dense brush first and then blend it out with a bigger one. But I just noticed that this one creates less of a harsh, weird line on your nose which it still will probably look like that, but you know, it's what I like. We're gonna go in, gonna go like this on both sides. I feel like I have to be quiet when I'm doing this and like concentrated. I don't know why, I feel like nose contouring just brings the whole look together. It makes me happy. So glad it's a thing. So, almost done here. Just do it to your liking. If you mess up, honestly, um, I'd just say like start off with less product and then build it up. And I'll go back with this little Real Techniques brush. So I just like to go in with the side of my brush, tap it in there, tap it off, and then kind of bake some more. I don't really let it sit there. I just kind of like to press it in. And this is just to clean up the contour and make it look nicer. Other side. You can see that looks pretty nice now. Shit, you guys. I literally just spilt the entire top of the powder all over my black pants. I have to show you this. This is really sad. This is what I get. Look. What I just did. This is a day in the life. Oh, give me one sec. I'm gonna go fix this. Okay, so now I go in with this essence powder that I have. It's really brightening um, And I just add a little bit to the Under eye area. I like to get it like up right here in the corner of the eye. I just really like that area to be bright Same thing I still can't believe I spilled all that powder on myself. So recently my favorite highlighter has been a Laura Gelder Gil Laura mm, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I love this. You can see I love this. Um and I just go in with this it cosmetics brush. So anything kind of fluffy like this, I do get it a little bit wet first and then I'll go in and swirl it around a lot in here because I love the intense highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. On the tip of the nose, the forehead, basically everywhere on your face that's not contoured. <laughs> we want to look like a disco ball, ladies. Got to get noticed from across the room, right? That's what catches the guy's attention. We just go bam, bam. Turn your head, turn your head, and they'll find you. Promise. Works every time. Get this highlighter. Show it to them, they'll come running. We're pretty much done with the foundation now, but I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my look and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed my full coverage makeup routine. I actually really like the way this whole makeup look turned out, but this was strictly just for the foundation. One of my favorite parts, one of my favorite foundations. It makes me so happy. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up or leave me some comments on what you would like to see or what would you like me to improve on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.